you can see it makes a huge mess. You have to definitely use the wind in your favor. The wind is blowing this way, so that's why I was going that way. So everything could just blow with the wind instead of back at me. It's because that, that's a mess. You see it's already, it already gets all over here anyway. So they just clean that off, but this is all, all thatch, all dead material that was in my grass, my, that was in the lawn here. So you can see, I, re I rehabilitated this real good. I just went ahead and did this to really renovate this lawn here, this whole section. You can see where all the soil is exposed now. So see this whole area, I went around came out through here and did this whole section here. You can see the difference between this grass, it's nice and thick, versus this. So when they brought, when they put this patio in, you know, this is the way that they came back and forth. And they did a, the best job they could at trying to save the grass, but just being trampled on like this over time, it just, it never really recovered, it never bounced back the way that it should have. So by renovating this whole section here, getting all this thatch out of here and exposing all the soil, I'm gonna put some soil amendment down, uh, maybe some, some topsoil, some organic compost or something down here, and then put some seed down in here. And it should fill in real nice. It's spring, very early spring, 70s. A, we're past the freezing temp, so this should grow in, fill in real nice. But you see the thatch, you know, you're just basically pushing it all the way up to wherever you stop. So you're pushing it, you're making these piles right here. So you can rake this up, or if you have a bagger, you know, uh, I'll probably get my smaller mower with the bag on the back and just suck this up real nice and easy. You can rake it up and bag it too. So that's the plan for rehabilitating this whole section using the broom attachment, the power broom attachment. It's not just for snow. I mean, you can clean up parking lots after the winter time, you know, from all the sand and salt and debris, but it could be any time of the year when, you know, there's all kinds of debris from storms or whatever, certain areas accumulate a lot of things. So rather than going around blowing it with, with backpack blowers, you can just take this power broom and push it all wherever you need to push it. You know, you can angle it like you saw me do, different directions. Again, it's gonna kick up a lot of dust. You know, it does have this guard here, but that's only gonna do so much. So ultimately, you wanna make sure the wind is in your favor. Try not to do it on a windy day, like today was is a super windy day. The wind is coming off of back here and just blowing this way. So that's why I was just kind of going back and forth. Instead of um, coming this way, I was going that way, pushing it all with the wind, piling it up there so that I can remove it all there. So if you're doing parking lots or whatever, same thing. But again, you know, it's better to do it on a non-windy day. But there's always going to be some wind, right? So you want to work with the wind so stuff doesn't blow back in your face. So definitely some advantages, but disadvantages I would say is the biggest mess that it creates versus using a dethatch, the, the dethatching attachment that you could put on here that's basically a bunch of tines, like, like a, a rake, and that just goes and it will pull everything up and you can put the bagger on the side of this so that way you can kind of mow while you're dethatching and it just sucks up all that thatch and bags it for you so you can just do it seamlessly in one pass instead of having to go back after like i'm going to do and suck up the, the thatch that way but even still it's not that big of a deal if you get it all piled up in the same areas and then you can just suck it up with a with a mower a, a smaller mower whatever mower you have that has a bagger or just rake it up and put it in garbage bags it's not that big of a deal if you put it all in, a, in, in the same area. But if you're doing like an entire property, that's where it can be a lot of work if you don't have a bagger um, with you know, the dethatcher. You can't put a bagger on for this. That's not an option. So you got too many things here. You got the high flow 
that's on the side where the bagger would be so there's really nothing because that's where the deck would be coming out so the bagger has to attach the vac attaches there and blows up the tube into the baggers um, so you can't have that and this on there so this is really most notably used for snow because it gets right down to the pavement just like it gets right down to the to the soil of the grass it just brushes it right on down um, so for like sidewalks and small drive driveways small parking lots commercial residential all kinds of applications where you can use it it's really wide as you can see um, so you can clear snow right down to the pavement versus plowing it where you're kind of scraping it and leaving a thin layer and you got to salt it later. This for smaller areas gets it right down to the ground. So most commonly it's used for snow, but as you see, it can be used for uh, turf renovation and it can be used for cleanups for like parking lots, things like that, construction sites. I know I've seen a lot of power brooms attachments on like skid steers and things because it's easy and quick to clean up. Uh, your mess after your projects. So what I like about this is if you think about a leaf rake, if you got a giant metal leaf rake and you just drag that back and forth across your lawn, that's basically what this is and you're going to get similar results. Obviously that's not the most productive, it's going to take you longer and so on uh, versus this is a much wider width so that you can cover a larger area faster. You definitely want to go over it multiple times so you get the real full effect but it's different than the uh, broom, power broom, that really just takes it straight down to the soil. So in my opinion, if you're really looking to thoroughly renovate like an area of a lawn or the entire lawn, maybe it's weeds, you killed it, you know, you're starting from scratch and you just wanna kinda till it all up, you can definitely use the power broom for that. You lower it down far enough so it makes really good solid contact with the yard and it will just completely clear that whole path. So that's also the con to that is you have to be careful and make sure that you raise it up a little, that, that you kind of hover right over the ground so that that doesn't happen, so that you don't damage the turf too much. Also the con to the broom is you can't have the deck, the mowing deck on here when you have the broom on there. So you're having to go back and do something else like mow with a separate mower and a bagger or rake it all up and hand put it in garbage bags all of the thatch that builds up that you create from the power broom like you saw uh, which it isn't isn't a huge deal by any means but it's it's definitely something that you have to consider versus if you have 
this attachment, the dethatching attachment on here with the mowing deck, then you can add the bagger unit to the side at the same time so you can actually save time and be super efficient because you can be bagging all of the thatch as you're raking it up. Because I mean, I could turn the mower on and just kind of chop it up into bits and kind of shoot it all over the place even more. But the whole point is you want to get all that build up off of the lawn. You want to kind of aerate the lawn to a certain extent. It's not core aeration, not the same thing as plugging, pulling plugs of soil out. It's just aerating the soil by skimming over the surface, raking the surface, getting all that extra thatch up. And you could see all the different chunks and clumps that were spitting up. As well as another pro is this is a lot faster and a lot less, uh, a shorter learning curve. You know, you don't have to make sure that it's like the power broom is so powerful that you have to really get the right balance to kind of hover right above um, the, the right level. There are settings that you can do. That you, there's a, something that you can put underneath the multi-force, the, the, the hitch that moves up and down. You can put something there, it comes with it actually. Um, the, the little bolt that adjusts the broom so that it can only go down so far so it doesn't put too much weight on the bristles when you put it down on the ground and bend the bristles. So you can utilize that to a certain extent and readjust that up so that you know exactly the right height. But if you go on any inclines or dips or divots, that's still gonna be need to be adjusted manually by lifting it up or down slightly with you know the 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 controls so it's that's not a foolproof system there either so again it takes a little more skill and a learning curve than the dethatcher which you do have to preset it you have to get the wheels right you have to kind of set these up properly there's a, a little adjustment here you can raise this up and down there's a little allen key on both sides here you loosen it up and this goes up and down on both sides make sure you get it at the right height you want you know, it's all in the manual. It says like three quarters of an inch between the tines and the hard surface. So you got to do this on the hard surface so that you see it's kind of just hovering. It's kind of just hovering above the turf for the, for the most part. So in some cases, it's not even scraping the dirt if it's contours, but it's pulling up the thatch that's kind of hovering right above the soil. But these are basically just large spring loaded Tines, you know like like a giant rake and it definitely does the trick it definitely pulls everything up it doesn't create as much thatch as the broom does like I said that broom really strips it down but this does the trick if you're looking for just light renovation you know light light dethatching just to kind of freshen up because that's gonna help get the air the nutrients the water everything down into the root system better if there's any buildup of any thatch areas and there's really no wrong time to to dethatch the most opportune time is during the growth season so spring and fall and right now it's towards the end of the spring grass still growing nice and strong so you want to do all that so that it can really thrive and grow during the growing season the summer kind of slows down goes a little dormant so if you do it then you're not going to get the best results and everything is really dry and brittle anyway so you might damage the turf just like you don't want to mow the lawn if it's too dry in the summer either so it's the same kind of thing so spring and falls the best time spring definitely because you get that nice pop nice full lawn really help thicken it up then if you put nutrients into it like fertilizing it's really going to help get into the soil and help the root system of, of the turf so i hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video if you have any questions definitely put them down below toro just started coming out with these things before you had to get separate machines so the benefit of getting the toro multi-force is you have one machine that you can use year round whether it's for snow with plows power brooms spring renovations with the bagger system the dethatching attachment uh, you know the rake dethatch attachment um, there's an aerator attachment uh, there's also a leaf plow for leaf season and all, also the bagger for the fall i mean all year round and they also now have something for mulch and just kind of hauling lighter material around similar to mulch uh, called the mulch force it's a big bucket that sits right on the top of the mower there and the same hydraulic system that raises and lowers the attachments and all that just raises that bucket and dumps it all the material out where you need it to go versus pushing a wheelbarrow back and forth so toro's really got a good answer for this commercial grade there's been a lot of residential homeowner stuff that has definitely tried to do that but this is the first commercial one-stop shop mower versus 
a unit that you put different attachments like a power unit. This is a full on mower that you're putting attachments to. So this is definitely unique and Toro is killing it with that. And that's why I got it so that I can utilize all these attachments, help grow my business and help get the lawns looking great, which is really the bottom line there. Also, it's a lot easier to maneuver with the tine rake here with, with, with this dethatching attachment versus the power broom because you can just really get around super easily. The power broom is really big. You gotta be really careful with the contours and where you're going and whatnot. It's just super maneuverable and easier with the dethatching attachment but you can use the power broom like I showed, especially for the hardcore turf renovations. Come on, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Is it tiring? Here, hold on. Let me give you a... It's really, you gotta kinda like pull. What the heck? It's really shoved in there, man. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Check out this section here now. This is the, the end result. This is super green and thick. And you can see compared to the neighbor's yard too. 